ahead and get started here. We'll open up for questions. All right. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Hey. You gotta ask a question, Michael, if you're gonna Go ahead, Mike Singer. Yeah, go ahead, Mike. Tori, can you kind of explain what's gotten into the defense over the since pretty much the second half of game two? What has what has switched over these last six quarters? Uh, just our urgency um, and the willing to want to defend. Um, I think uh, a lot of guys know what we can do on this team, and we defend at a high level. Offense will come pretty easy to us, so uh, if we make defending a priority, we'll be fine. Even coming into this series, was there anything intimidating to you about the Lakers and the way that they play? No, not intimidating, but we know they're they're a huge team. Um, they're a good, good defensive team. Um, a good rebounding team. And like their size is an issue for, for anyone. And um, I think we knew that coming into the games and we, we adapted to it pretty well. Next, we'll go to Katie Wingy. Katie, go ahead. Hey, Tor, I know that your path to the NBA uh, was a little different than most guys. And I'm curious, when you talk about the underdog mentality and the resiliency of this team and that becoming a part of your guys' identity, how much – has your guys' individual paths to the NBA played a role in collectively being this resilient team? Um, yeah, um, I would say it plays a part. No, no guys was, other than like Mike or those guys who was, were drafted high and Jamal. Um, Joker was a second round pick. Uh, Monte, myself went and drafted. And um, yeah, we just came in, we wasn't given anything fight for everything we have and uh now we're in the Western Conference playoffs just trying to trying to prove that that we can compete with the best teams in the league and um I, I kind of like being the underdog um I like proving people wrong I like uh just trying to just trying to show people that we can play for real against the the best teams in the league next we'll go to Sam Amick Sam go ahead Corey I'm curious the uh the zone that threw at y'all late um, how surprising was it? Uh, Frank Vogel just told us he's never run one before his whole career. I mean, it's a kind of a jump move. Mm -hmm. It worked. Uh, how did it hit you? Uh, I would say it was unexpected. Um, forced us to into a lot of turnovers early. Um, I just think we, we were shocked by it, thrown off guard, off guard by it. You know, it was a rattle a little bit, but um, we, we settled down. Once we settled down and see some shots go in, we were fine. Next, we'll go to TJ McBride. TJ, go ahead. Hey, Tor. Oh. Hey, Tori. Sorry about that. Got muted. I'm not sure if you had a chance to see the news that came out of Louisville yet when it comes to the Breonna Taylor's case, but two of the officers were not charged, and one was charged with wanton endangerment for shooting through another person's apartment. When you hear that news, what is your initial thought to the charges and everything else that is taking place? I mean, it's just, it's disappointing. It's depressing. It's, um, it's not the outcome anybody wanted. So, um, yeah, that's a touchy subject. So I'm just going to leave it at that. All right. I have no hands. Okay. We'll go to Katie Wingy. Katie, go ahead. Katie, here you go. Or when you see Jamal Murray, and I know that you – obviously you guys as a team know Jamal better than anybody, but when he makes the shots that he made last night in the fourth quarter, he's done everything that he's done in the playoffs. What's your reaction when he's hitting like that way out three-pointer, hitting shots in guys' faces? Are you just excited for him? Are you surprised? I mean, I'm excited for our team. Uh, when he does things like that, that, that's good for us. And uh, no, I'm not surprised. I've been here three years and I see him – make a lot of those shots, whether in practice, uh, during the summer, and in games. So Jamal is the ultimate competitor. Um, he, he he wants to take on any challenge. And, and like I said, he, he likes to prove people wrong as well. So he's definitely playing with a chip on his shoulder, and, and that's good for us. All right, well, Mike Singer. Mike, go ahead. To follow up on that, what do you think is the latest layer that Jamal has added to his game? You saw it last year, kind of a specialist score, but this year we're seeing the whole package, the position, the rebounding. What, what have you seen? Yeah, like you said, the, the rebounding, the passing, um, playmaking for other other guys and just being a threat as a passer as well. Um, everybody knows he can score and shoot the ball, but when he when he breaks down defenses and find the open man or, 
or, or make uh, big time passes. That's that's definitely elevating this game. All right, Tori, that will do it for today. We appreciate it. Thank you.